As a first time home buyer, it can be nerve wracking when you start to pay for a deposit before you've come to closing. What I have noticed is that millions of Americans who have become homeowners get so hung up on the immediate short term costs of owning a home and never take the time and a deep breath to evaluate all the advantages of owning real estate and the tax benefits that come along with it. My name is Tom Santella and I am a realtor in the Brooklyn, Queens and Long Island area keeping you up to date on all things real estate. And in this video, we will focus on the tax advantages specific to first time home buyers. Most people don't know you are able to write off a lot of things. And the first one that we will talk about is your ability to write off interest. So if you are using a mortgage for a primary residence, which most people do, the interest applied to the first $750,000 of your home's mortgage debt is deductible. And this drops to three seventy-five dollars if you are married but are filing separately. This is a huge advantage, especially if you are in a higher income bracket because you can bring down your taxable income with these write-offs and potentially move yourself into a lower income bracket, further decreasing what you pay in taxes. If you are planning to house hack, the amount deductible would be based on the percentage of the home that is being rented. Now for a primary residence, depreciation cannot be deducted. However, if you are doing a house hack, you can deduct a year of depreciation based on the percentage of the home getting rented over the life of the property, which is 27 and a half years usually. Another advantage is that you are able to deduct the amount spent on any mortgage discount points if you decide to buy down your interest rate on your mortgage. I heavily recommend this since it can save you thousands of thousands of dollars in interest over the life of your loan. And the cost to do so is tax deductible because it is considered part of your closing costs. Let's say you get a loan today at 7% interest, but you decide to buy down a point. This amount is tax deductible and you save yourself 1% of interest of your purchase price over the life of your loan term which is usually 30 years. So this is a significant amount and one every first time home buyer should definitely consider. Most people consider this as an additional upfront expense, but don't wanna spend more being that they are already nervous buying their first home and taking on this mortgage debt. But remember this additional expense is tax deductible and it will come back to you by lowering your taxable income that year by the same amount and saving you 30 years of additional interest that you would be paying. The other thing that you can also write off on your taxes is your real estate property tax. Now your entire property tax is not deductible, but homeowners who itemize their returns can deduct property taxes they pay on their main residence, as well as any other real estate that you may come to own. From the date you purchase the property, up to $13,850 for single and married individuals filing separately. $27,700 for couples filing jointly, and $20,800 as a standard deduction for the heads of households. Each of these limits is still a significant amount of your property tax, an extremely helpful tax advantage as a homeowner. Last, and one people tend to forget, and this is the capital gains exclusion. Essentially, you may qualify to exclude up to $250,000 of the gain from your, in from your income or up to 500,000 of the gain if you file joint returns with your spouse upon the sale of your home. You are eligible for this exclusion if you meet both the ownership and use test, where you have to have owned and used your home as your primary residence for a period aggregating at least two years. Both these tests can occur during two different periods of two years, but must be within a five year period. However, if you exclude the gain from the sale of another home during the two year period prior to the sale of this home, you are generally not eligible to do so in that same period again. So when you go to buy for your first primary residence or your next, keep in mind all the tax savings and advantages you can utilize to offset some of these current and future expenses. I encourage all homeowners to take advantage of these tax saving strategies. And if you are considering becoming a first time home buyer, I am a licensed realtor in New York and I'd be more than happy to help you and assist you in your home search or even just give you my two cents to help you start the process. I hope this video was insightful and if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more videos just like this. 
as always, thank you for sticking around and see you next week.